A guilty verdict in an animal abuse case on Long Island. The accused animal owner is speaking out. He is a diner owner who had been charged with starving his dog, but the jury didn't buy it. The CBS 2's Carolyn Gossoff reports he's faulting the public for a rush to judgment. Callie. A reunion today for Peter Tzadillas and his yellow lab, Callie, taken away 14 months ago after the SPCA charged him with starving her. A jury found him not guilty. I feel vindicated. I feel like, uh, you know, the right thing was done here. These skin and bones pictures of Callie unleashed a torrent of social media venom against not only him, but the diner he owns in Huntington. His mugshot circulated, branded as too greedy to feed his dog. His business boycotted. Let's start of your pockets. Hope your restaurant is empty. It now often is. People throwing things at the diner, you know, nobody wants to step foot in there. It's crazy. Sedillis testified at his trial that he never intentionally starved the dog, but had her on a special diet to lose fatty tumors like this one, and was unaware of a later discovered ovarian tumor, which contributed to her weight loss. They found a six-pound ovarian tumor, which all of the experts and all of the veterinarians agreed would affect her ability to gain weight, and maintain weight, and would potentially have caused her to rapidly lose weight, and he would have had no knowledge. There was no asking me any questions. It was just, you know, give up the dog or get arrested. They didn't want to know the truth. A spokesman for the DA says they respect the verdict. Their case focused not only on Kelly's weight, but also the fact that she had fleas and an ear infection. Prosecutors argued had been neglected. Ailments officials discovered after Kelly got loose and was turned into an animal shelter. Sedilla says the fleas were picked up while she was missing and the ear infection was being treated. Don't rush to judge because you never know. I very well might lose my diner, but I definitely did not lose my dog, so that's a good thing. A public rush to judgment he claims has cost him dearly. In Sayasset, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. If convicted, he could have faced up to a year in jail and a 10-year animal ban. The Nassau SPCA had no comments.